my way through the campuses, I am amazed at the learning that is evolving inside our classrooms and the work that is progressing outside in the construction of future learning spaces. Welcome to this edition of On Location. I'm Dana Bashera, your superintendent. Across our district, you can see evidence of the work that is taking place to build the facilities that will engage our students in new and profound ways. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the construction progress all across the district. I'm excited to be joined by our STEM teacher here at the Junior School, Jeff Wheatcraft. Jeff, I know you've been keeping your eye on the progress of this building pretty closely. I've heard you were in here for the morning pour when yes. they poured the foundation. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what you're most excited about this, um, this new space and what you've been seeing with the progress. So I'm most excited just about the space itself. Yeah. Um, a lot of planning went into utilizing every square inch of this building. Mm -hmm. um, we have bigger spaces. Uh, more areas for kids to work and do bigger projects and hopefully do bigger ideas and come up with better solutions to bigger problems. That's exciting. Um, I know you've been able to give some input just about the design of some of the spaces. Is there anything that really stands out to you? Um, a feature that you're most excited about? So beside the STEM rooms and the height of the ceilings and just the space we have, um, there's an upstairs collaborative space yeah. which when done is going to be gorgeous. It's huge, it's open, it has windows that will bring in lots of, lots of natural light. So it's going to be a really cool place for kids to collaborate and do cool work. We love hearing that. Thanks for sharing your thoughts. Now here are some updates from other campus projects. At Cambridge Elementary, the construction crew is putting the finishing touches on the Fine Arts Building. Once the building is complete and staff is moved in, we can remove the temporary portable buildings that housed our fine arts classes and begin to work on the playground and track. You can see through the renderings that our students are going to have a new beautiful playground area that will be safely tucked away inside our campus grounds. The current location of the playground will feature several green spaces and provide parking options for staff. All of this work is to be complete by August 2019 for the start of school. The Woodridge Gymnasiums have also made significant progress. You can see from the photos that the covered play area is up and will provide some innovative space options for our students and staff. Just down on Broadway at Alamo Heights High School, you can see a bit of what the new Commons building will look like at completion. Inside, there's a great deal taking place with the installation of mechanical ductwork, electrical conduit, and fire sprinkler piping. And believe it or not, the concrete floors have received their initial polish. The new building will be home to a brand new arts department complex and a beautiful new cafeteria space. Students at the high school are already taste testing the food that will be featured and branding the space with a new name. Details coming soon. We look forward to opening this building in the fall of 2019. And in an effort to be ready for the next phase of construction at the high school, we must first demolish some of our older structures. The natatorium is projected to start demolition in March and soon after in May, we will demo the dance studio gym. Demolition of the annex building, which currently houses our social studies classrooms on the first floor and math classes on the second floor, and our current cafeteria will begin in June. That's a lot of demolition this spring and summer, but here's a look at what's to come, the beautiful new renderings of the athletic and STEM spaces at Alamo Heights High School. The STEM building will house the rocketry program as well as three other classroom spaces. We'll update you more on these facilities in an upcoming episode of On Location. As our new facilities take shape, there's a sense of excitement from our students and staff as we're moving from planning stages to a reality phase now on our campuses. We know that these facilities will all take us to new heights in providing meaningful learning experiences for our students. Thanks for joining us for this episode of On Location. Hey!